Hey guys, this is going to be another quick tutorial on how to make an equalizer in Anime Studio. And to start off with, you can see I made a layer that says lights off and it shows an equalizer bar. I just drew rectangles of dark green, yellow, and red uh, to symbolize an equalizer that's not on, a bar that's not on. And I'll, I'll duplicate the layer by clicking this layer and calling it lights on. And then we just need to change the color of this layer. I'm going to go ahead and select everything and um, hit G to select the group and then T and I'm just going to move these over. Now I'm going to hit Q to shape select and select this very first red one. Hold shift down, select the rest. Go over to the fill, click that fill color, select a brighter red, hit OK. Shaped tool still selected, so we'll hit the first yellow. Hold shift down, select all the yellow, go to fill, lighter yellow. Select the green, hold shift down, and select the rest of those, and do the same thing, lighter green. Okay, and now I'm gonna hit G to select the group, hit T, and move it back over into the position out there. So now we have lights on and lights off. So now we need to make a mask to make the lights on appear and disappear. So to do that we need to make a bone layer and we'll go ahead and call this switch. That sounds good, yeah, light switch. And then um, drag the lights on layer into the switch. We don't need to move the lights off because it's not going to be animated or moved. So um, now that we have it in the bone layer we need to create one more thing which is the mask. And if I click a new layer, vector layer, we'll call that mask. And we'll go, go ahead and drag it to the bottom or underneath the lights on. But it's still in the bone layer see right here. So now we need to to create a mask we have to double click in the bone layer and then click masking and first thing I want to do is click hide all and what that's going to do is just hide everything um, that's underneath or that's in the uh, bone layer. So when I do that it hides the lights on um, graphic. So now we need to actually make the mask so we'll click the mask layer that we created we're going to go to Draw Shape Tool, and I'm just going to select a random color, like purple, so you can see what's actually happening. So now in the mask layer, we're just going to draw a rectangle over the equalizer. And you can see when I do that, it actually shows the lights on layer um, that when it's covered. So if I grab one of these uh, points, I move it over you can see that it's um, actually showing the lights on wherever the mask is and lights off if it's not covering it. But we don't want the purple of the mask to show. So to get rid of that you need to double click on the mask layer that we created and then go into the masking tab on that and then you need to select this button right here which says clear the mask and then add this layer invisibly to it and then apply. And what that does is take the color out. It's invisible but it's still affecting the lights on layer. So again if I move this point you can see that it's um, making the lights on visible and underneath it lights off. Okay. So I'm gonna hit G. This is to select the points and I'm just gonna like left click and drag and move Move these two points. Um, oops. Select those two points. <laughs> G. Drag over them. Okay. Now hit T, and then I'm just moving it down. Let me go over that again so you can see how I'm moving those points. I'm hitting G. Select points. Left drag over the two points I want to move. Hit T to transform, and then clicking in the center box just go ahead and dragging them down. I'm also holding shift so they don't move left to right and we'll just put it right in the center. 
That's our start, starting point for the mask. Okay? So now we need to make control to make the uh, mask go up or down. We'll go ahead and leave those points selected, and you'll see why in a second. We'll go to the bone layer and click Add Bone. And we're just going to draw a bone from left to right next to the equalizer. And we'll click the bone strength. We don't need it at all, so just left click and drag uh, to the right, or I mean to the left, to turn it all the way down because we don't need that. Okay? And now we need to make two actions one for the mask to go up and one for it to go down. So to do that, make sure you have the bone layer selected and then go up to Window, Actions, and then select the Smart Bones tab. Once you have the Smart Bones tab selected, click a, a New Action. And remember, this bone is called B1. So the first action is going to be B1. And hit OK. And you know that it's working correctly if your timeline turns blue. Okay. So now what we need to do is, with the bone layer selected again, hit T. And you should see these two points come up on your bone. And then we're going to click here and just drag it so the angle is up. Okay? And then go ahead and release that. And that makes a keyframe for the bone. But we also want, the, when this bone goes up, we also want to go into the mask. So click the mask. And see we have those two points selected still. We'll go ahead and hit T to transform. And then click in the center box and just uh, drag it up. So everything's visible. And now you've created your first action. So we can go out of this action now and go back to the main timeline. And it resets back to its original position. And we need to make one more um, action to make it go down. So again, make sure you come over here and hit the bone layer before you create a new action. Um, if you do it in the mask, it's going to mess up. So make sure you're in the bone layer and under the Smart Bones tab, and then click New Action again. And this time we're going to call it B1, and then add a space and two. This just tells Anime Studio that you're using the same bone to create a different action. So hit OK. Again, we know it's working because the timeline's light blue. And we're on the bone layer, so we'll hit T. Transform the bone, we'll point it downwards this time. And then we'll go into the masking layer. And again, we have the points selected that we want already. So go ahead and hit T. And then just left click and drag down till uh, everything's hidden. And now you've made the second action. So you can go back into the timeline, main timeline. Just double click here. And you can see everything's reset. And we'll close this window. So now if I have the bone layer selected and go into the timeline, and move this bone, you can see it's actually controlling the mask, which is exactly what we want. So now what we need to do is add randomness to the, um, have, have it uh, randomly generate uh, movement. So with the uh, bone layer selected, go to frame one, and then hit T to select the transform bone tool, click on it, Right click on the keyframe and select noisy. And to adjust how this animates, go ahead and um, play the animation and adjust the settings in the window as it's playing. So I'm going to just drag over into the uh, timeline a little bit. And if I hit spacebar, you'll see it'll play. It's real jittery. Now, the two um, uh, settings you want to change is the scale and amplitude. If you crank up the scale, it's going to move slower. It's not going to be so staggered. So if I keep turning this up, you can see now this animation is pretty slow. And then the amplitude is how big of an angle it moves. So if I turn the amplitude up, it'll go higher and lower also. So just get it to where you want it to, or where it looks nice. I'm going to turn the scale down so it's a little faster to look more like music's playing. And, oops, whoa, oh, that's too crazy. <laughs> Let's turn that down a little bit. Uh, turn the amplitude up. And, and 
just adjusting it. That looks okay. Um, so now, let's go ahead and close that window out. Now we have all our components that we need for uh, to make an equalizer. Um, we'll need to make one more group. And the reason we need to make one more group is so we can put the switch layer and the lights off layer in it, like that. So everything's contained in, in one folder. And the reason we want to do this is so we can just hit duplicate. And I'm going to do it uh, four times. So we make copies of that. And um, with the layer, transform layer tool selected, we'll just go ahead and drag these over. Do that. Select the next layer. Drag that one over. Select the next layer. Drag that over. And of course, all of these um, are going to animate exactly the same, so it doesn't look very natural. To change that is to um, go open one of the layers, go to the switch layer, select the keyframe, uh, right click on the keyframe, hit noisy, it'll open this back up, and then you can just change the scale just slightly, and then do the same thing. Go to the next one, select the bone layer, change the scale on this. Um, if this window doesn't open correctly, just make sure you select the keyframe again. And switch this one, we'll turn this one up a little. Or this one, turn it up just a little bit. And by doing that, actually, it'll just create random movement for all of your um, masks and there you have a uh, equalizer animation. Um, so it, this is a pretty kind of intermediate tutorial so if you have any questions just uh, give me a call or leave a comment and uh, that's it. Thanks.